Hello everybody and welcome to the first in a series of presentations about things that people like. Uh, today we're going to uh, investigate uh, the uh, popularity of sloths in Australia. Yes, Australians are going crazy about them and we can statistically prove this amazingly. Um, based on the number, and this is what this is, a map of uh, how many people are googling sloths um, across the world. Um, as you can see, nobody cares about sloths in Mexico. Nobody cares about sloths in China. Who cares about sloths? Australia cares. We're, we're really nice like that. Um, now, folks have always had a, a bit of a thing um, for sloths. Um, They've always been fairly popular, but suddenly in early 2012, interest in sloths went off. Currently, at, at this current point in time, as you uh, are watching this, sloths are going off, which is slightly unfortunate, I guess. Ironic. It's not a very sloth thing to do. But, so the question is, why are sloths so popular? Well, it's an easy question. To answer. Um, they live, after all, the perfect life. This is what they do. They eat. They sleep. They just hang around. They're just so happy, and yet they don't own any material possessions. Let's face it, sloths have got it made. So let's have a uh, look at um, four events that have really um, turned people very excited about sloths. Um, taking it from a medium level of, wow, aren't they cool, to like, ah! Um, firstly, a sloth crossed the road. He's going to pick it up. He's going to pick it up and move it. Of course, you know, that's not all, it's not all that very exciting when most things cross the road, but the fact that a sloth is doing anything is amazing. Yeah, that was kind of special. Um, secondly, uh, Kristen uh, Bell uh, had a bit of a sloth meltdown. Jax did something really sweet. He certainly did. Well, one of the many sweet things he's done. So I turned uh, 31 this past summer, and he said, um, I'm going to get you a present that no one else will ever get in their lifetime. And I was confused and thought, okay. So the day of my birthday, we're sitting in the living room, and I hear a knock at the door, and he says, your present's here. Why don't you go grab the dogs and go in the back room? And I had no context for knowing what it was. But I grabbed the dogs, walk into the back room of the house, and I immediately was overcome, and I thought, there's a sloth near. There's a sloth here. It's close. It's going to happen. And I didn't know how to process that, because my entire life had been waiting for this moment where I would get to interact, I'm serious, with the sloth. Uh -huh. And I, first thing you should know about me, if I'm not between a three and a seven on the emotional scale, I'm crying. You're crying if it's too sad, I'm crying if I'm too, too happy. Always. So between three and seven is, you're fine. It's a good zone. Okay. And right now I'm at like a six, nine, seven, so we're lucky that I'm not crying right now because okay, I'm excited to be here. Good. So I am sitting on my bed, knowing that a sloth is here. Where are you now on the scale? <sighs> 11. Wow. I start to have a full-fledged panic attack. I don't, I don't know how to compete with all this emotion, so I just kind of crawl up on the bed, and I'm crying so hard. And Dax knocks on the door, and he has a video camera, and he's like, surprise, I want you to come out to the, are you all right? <laughs> And, and sees me basically fetal on the bed, and I um. I think you brought a little I footage did. of that. It's I, embarrassing. I cannot wait to see it's it. It's worth watching. Yes. It's embarrassing. So we can take a look. Oh, there's a little sloth. There one is. All right, let's watch the. the uh, oh no. I wasn't joking. I was absolutely. Yeah, that one's coming. 
coming to your party. <laughs> Okay, Slossa, it was going so crazy, I'm speaking in Australia, although this next one's, uh, I think it's British, a, uh, about sloths, that there's even now a sloth documentary. Well, that should be exciting watching, shouldn't it? Oh, that's pretty cute, but we've, uh, we've saved the cutest for last. Uh, as I said, the, uh, you know, it's exciting when, whenever a sloth does anything. Oh. When there's a baby sloth, like, you want it. Wow. Oh. <laughs> it's yeah, let's have that on the scene. It's like... Oh. And once more. Okay, again. <laughs> I'm not sure if the sloth's the one going, ah, oh, or not. I mean, that's just way too much. Um, so they could practically, judging by all of that, um, be an Aussie. If there are any non-Aussies in the audience, um, that's Norm, 1980s cartoon character from a, a health ad. Um, and, um, you know, we should definitely consider them to be honorary Aussies. I mean, it's not as though we're not welcoming of weird animals. Uh, we have previously welcomed uh, the duck-billed platypus. Uh, which, you know, is half beaver, half duck, with claws. Scary shit. Um, we have welcomed the quokka. Not that weird, really, but just as an awesome name. Uh, we've uh, welcomed the echidna. And we've even uh, been welcoming of the drop bear. I think it's time that we welcome the sloth. Thank you. Bye.